is it. Episode 102 of Youth Squad Legends Series 4. The final episode. The chance for York City to make a little bit of history here and bring home a treble. We've already got the Premier League. That is in the bag. Next up is the FA Cup. We're against Arsenal at Wembley. So here is the first 11. We got Cole Samuel, Diego Herner, Jake Pogue, Adrian Glano, Chris Bowman, Nicola Minarini, Nicholas Ayala, Matty Zuck, Maximiliano Gonzalez, Adam Pond, and Thomas Nogueiro. Well, usually in the FA Cup final, it's lovely and sunny, but for Yorks, it's raining. Go on, Nogueiro. Go on, Nogueiro. Yes, keep it in. That's fine. Oh, it just falls over. Ah, opening. Cole Samuel keeps us on level terms. And it's the first sight on goal for Arsenal. And it. Yes, well done, Maximiliano Gonzalez. It's Adam Pond. Trying to find Maximiliano Gonzalez, but he'll go himself. Is he going to spin in? It's a save by Chesney. And we're still level on the scoreline. Both teams started brightly. Both teams creating chances. Could have been 1 0 to either side. Maximiliano Gonzalez out wide to Matty Zuck. Two strikers in the middle. They're both wanting to score. And the delivery can't find either of them. Ayala. Yes! Adam Pond with a tap in! 1 0 York City! Get in! I think it's time for the Vuvuzela! <laughs> Naguero. And, and still Naguero. Naguero. Yes! It's another goal. It's 2 0. It was quite sweaty for York. But who cares? Half time. 2 0 to York City. We're halfway there. Gonzalez. Go. It's Matty Zuck. He needs someone in support. Matty's up, fights Adam Pond, and it's 3 0 York City. Get in! The FA Cup's coming to York. It's party time here at Wembley. The ball. Matty Zuck. We've got Adam Pond and Maximiliano Gonzalez. Three. It's hit the post. Maximiliano Gonzalez makes it four. A superb performance by York City, and what a time to be giving this performance. Only a few more minutes remain. And we will be FA Cup champions, along with Barclays Premier League champions. We will have completed a double. But the best trophy is yet to be won. The Champions League final against Lyon. Oh, they've got a goal. They have a goal late on. It's 4-1 here. And I don't know the goal scorer. But they have got themselves a consolation goal. And yet again, the computer scores against us when we have a big victory. We just can't keep clean sheets. It doesn't really matter though, so long as you win. And we are winning. Get it out. Blow for full time. Can't finish the game. Hang on, we could get a fifth here. Adam Pond finds Matty Zuck and somehow the referee called time on it there. Matty Zuck couldn't score against his former club, but it doesn't really matter. York City are 4-1 winners here. We have got the FA Cup. Vuvuzela time. Well done, lads. Let's uh, fall silent and watch this celebration now. One of the favourites and they bore that burden well, if you can call it a burden. Oh shit, I forgot to change the captaincy. Well, they go. It's Jake Pope who's going to lift it. It's okay, it's alright. The team has won that. It's a team performance, lads. Everybody will get the hands on the cup. And all that it means for those players. No wonder the bounce is back in them. Well, you've got all your family up in the stands. And York City, FA Cup winners. Be a huge feeling of pride within that team. Why not? Thoroughly deserved winners. stage the final as well and more to come with these uh, end of match fireworks they provided the fireworks on the pitch a terrific team and for them a place in the history books 
Yeah, time to enjoy, time to celebrate. It's the Premier League and it's Liverpool against York City. Neves Ferreira, good touch. And a great pass to match, it's Gary Barron. He's at a cute angle, he's passed it back to Troy O'Neill who tried to slip it in. Troy O'Neill again, can't find the net. Oh, what a challenge that was by Charlie Davis. And it finishes the first half of football that really hasn't had any chances in it. You do get the sense in the performance that the result doesn't mean anything. That is full time in a very dull encounter between Liverpool and York City. Unfortunately, the situation that York City find themselves in killed that game. We didn't need to win it, and to be honest, my players didn't feel motivated. So this is the day that we've been looking forward to, the Premier League lift. Unfortunately, it's not our home ground, which is a shame. It's even worse if you're an Arsenal fan, because not only have you lost the FA Cup against York, but now they're going to celebrate the Premier League title at your ground. So the starting lineup is Samuel Herner, Logan Glonner, Alowski, Smith, Ayala, Corto, Ponzuk and Minarini. Also going to be celebrating the title is Pahovsky, Gonzalez, Baron, Naguera, Bullman, Depay and Davis. It's been quite difficult picking my squad, but I believe they have to be there. They've deserved the right to be there. No, he's onside, he's scored. It's 1-0 to Arsenal. And our final day celebrations have been a bit dampened by a goal. It's not great preparation from the Champions League final, losing 1-0 here. Oh, mistake, Matty Zuck finds the back of the net. We capitalise on the mistake and make the day a whole lot better. The score now 1-1. Herner, go. Come on, Corto. Get running. I know you're slow, but please run for me. Oh, Corto, why? What kind of player would you have become if you didn't have slow speed stats? Oh, no, no. We've got an open in the back, and that is 2-1 to Arsenal. I really don't want to lose this game. I know it makes no difference, but it's not nice to finish the season like this. Here's Alan. This is what we love about. Oh, Ayala's right, injured. No. No, not I. No. Oh my god. The captain's injured. The captain's injured. Well, the injured player has gone off. It's a bruised shoulder, so he might be able to play in the Champions League final. But the captain has to go off. And now we need to choose a captain. A different captain. Well, for me, it's between Logan, Glarner, Tracky Bottom Smith, and Adam Pond. To decide this, I'm going to do a coin toss. We're going to have three rounds. First round, Cameron Logan against Glarner. Second round, Tracky Bottom Smith against Adam Pond. And then third round is the final between the two winners. And I'm going to record it for you guys as well. The first one. We've got Cameron Logan, whose head's... Glarner tails. Right. That is heads. So, Cameron Logan is in the final. Okay, next one. Tracky Bottom Smith against Adam Pond. Tracky Bottom Smith is heads. Adam Pond is tails. That is tails. Cameron Logan against Adam Pond. Cameron Logan heads, Adam Pond tails. It's heads. Cameron Logan is the captain for this game. I just hope he's all right for the Champions League final. Because if we lose Nicholas Ayala for that, the game that we've been building up for, for 102 episodes, I'm going to be devastated. You're going to be devastated. Every single person involved in this series is going to be devastated. Well, it has finished 2-1, but what we've done in the other 37 matches has been incredible, and we fully deserve this league title. You've said often before, Alan, you, 
you can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again. So when you do get a winner's medal, as they're getting here and celebrating... Why the hell is Cole Samuel lifting the trophy? What's going on there? I, I gave the captaincy to Cameron Logan. Why has the goalkeeper took it? Why has he even got the captain's armband on? What was even point of the coin toss when that happens? York City. Player injured and he's out for nine days. Stoke City two. Chelsea. And the Champions League is in less than nine days. It's only a bruised shoulder, Ayala. Play through it. This might be like the biggest game of your life. He's injured. He's not going to play. I do not believe it. Ayala is not going to play with a bruised shoulder. What the fuck is this game? Why are they not allowing him to play? It's only a bloody bruised shoulder and it's the Champions League final. It's not like he's just one member of the squad. He was our captain. He was the man who was going to lift it. What's been done has been done. Ayala is out of this game. We're going to have to move on from that disappointment. It is now York City's finest hour. It's Leon against York. It's the Champions League final. And before we play this game, some people ask me on Twitter why these are in the final. I'll tell you exactly why. Kulma, the Falcao regen, plays for Leon, and he's 90 overall. He will be a big problem for my defence. Ayala's absence gives chance for Charlie Davis to shine on the biggest stage. Charlie Davis gives it to Maximiliano Gonzalez, wants it back. Charlie Davis! What a save! Fantastic reactions from the Leon keeper. Charlie Davis nearly opens the scoring. Out! Out! Oh no! Is it Kulma? I think it is. I warned about him earlier and we haven't been able to deal with his presence. The lad we tried to buy earlier in the series has struck for Leon to make it 1-0 in the Champions League final. Pai. Adam Pond. Yes, the fake shot worked. Adam Pond. 1-1. Come on. 37 minutes gone. There's plenty of time left in this. Arguably the two best strikers in the world have got a goal in this final. Half time and much like I expected it is a tough game. Kulmer's only involvement gave Leon the lead before Adam Pond found the back of the net. 1-1 at half time. Pie. Come on, stay on side. Everybody stay on side. He's giving it to Matty Zuck. He's got loads of room. He crosses in. It's Adam Pond with a bicycle kick! Oh! Adam Pond! Now that goal is worthy of the Vuvu Zayla! <laughs> Not only did he find the net, but he found the bottom corner with an acrobatic finish like that. For Adam Pond to be classed as one of the greats, he needed to do something special this episode. And my word, has he produced it? Adam Pond might have won the Champions League with a bicycle kick. This is it, lads. We are going to win the Champions League, and it's going to be all thanks to Adam Pond. There we are. We've done it. Leon won. York 2. And an Adam Pond bicycle kick means we are champions. I will leave you with these celebration scenes. That is the end of Series 4 Youth Squad Legends. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please give the video a like if you have done. And I will see you in FIFA 15 when we do it all again with Burton Albion. But until then, I've been Cutsy and they have been York City. So many trophies on offer during the course of the season. That's why it does mean so much for any footballer.